You know what I've realized, my friends? <laughs> I've realized that one of the greatest ways <clears throat> that people deceive themselves in life, and I'm guilty of doing this in the past, you decide that I want to create this or I want to get this this way and then you get it that way and you said, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to keep it this way forever. I'm at a good place in life. This is right where I want to be. I'm in a relationship I want to be in. I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to ride this out forever. Oh, I finally got the house I needed. I finally got the job I wanted. I'm good. I'm going to keep everything this way. I'm not going to change anything. Don't get me wrong. The intentions are good. I get it. We all love to feel comfortable. We love to accomplish our goals and get to that place. But we can't deceive ourselves. <laughs> Although we desire that, we got to be smarter than that. The worst form of deception is self-deception. We can't deceive ourselves because even though we know that we want to get to this place and we love the place that we're at, nothing in life stays the same. Even that cute dynamic situation that you have, even that great foundation that you establish, everything changes. But see, we love to change when we're in a rut. When we're devastated with life, we love the fact that those tables turn and we get back on top. But it's not just when we're down and when things are going bad. It's also when we're up and when things are going good. That changes as well, right? So again, we got to be in the world, but not of the world. So therefore, we don't fall victim. We don't take the sting of that change. We just move with it. Just move with it. That's what life is all about, adjusting, my friend. Because nothing in life stays the same. So here's your choice. You got a choice to make, right? You got to make a decision. Here's the choice you got to choose from, right? You can either be open to change or close to growth, right? Because it's literally impossible to grow without first changing my friend there it is nothing in life stays the same it's set up like that so you got to align with the with, with life you got to get aligned with life constant change evolution or else you're going to be out in the cold my friend because nothing in life stays the same so look what you got to be bold enough to do you got to be bold enough and intentional enough right to remove the wrong people, the wrong places, and the wrong things out of your life. You got to uproot them. Get out of here because they're weighing you down. That's the only way you can make room for the right people, the right places, and the right things to show up. It help take you higher, my friend. But always know the right people, places, and things not going to show up until you do your part. We always got to go first and then the universe matches our efforts. That's how God constructed this perfect universe, my friend. And might I add, the universe is undefeated and it keeps a perfect score. So that karma that you think you escaped 15 years ago, no, it's coming back for you, my friend. Hopefully it's good karma, my friend, because it's coming for you, my friend. Nothing in life stays the same, although we live in a fixed system right it's nothing stays the same right so here's the thing here's three strategies that can help you my friend number one here's the thing about life that you gotta understand you're either moving forward in life or you're moving backwards in life but you're never staying still nothing in life stays still everything changes my friend you ever drive a car and your foot get tired of pushing the gas pedal, so you're going like 60 miles an hour. So you take your foot off the gas pedal. You still look at the speedometer, you look at the gauge, and it still looks like 60 miles an hour. You look away and you look back at it. Now it's, descent, it's decelerating 58, 55, 50, 45. Even that car don't stay the same, my friend. If you stop doing what you're doing, if you take your foot off the gas pedal, you're going backwards, my friend. But not just in the car. 
in life, my friend, also, right? Number two, here's the thing. If you're not open to change, you're close to growth, my friend. You got to do one to get the other, my friend. Every new level in life requires a new version of you. I don't care how amazing you think you are. You got to be more amazing to get to that next level. It doesn't matter. Nothing in life stays the same. But guess what, my friend? You built for this, my friend. You got this. We all love comfort, but you got to go back to uncomfortable to get that comfort again. Too many people want to go from comfort. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, this feels even better. Oh, this feels the greatest. No, you got to go from comfort. This feels good. Let me grind again and get to the next feel good. Oh, I'm at the next feel good. Okay, let me grind again and get to the next feel good. That's got to be the mentality, my friend, because nothing in life stays the same, right? And number three, you got to develop a greatness mindset mind bold enough to believe right that the very worst thing that we could ever do in life the very worst thing that we could ever do in life is to lose our desire to transform into our best possible self the very worst thing that we can do in life is to lose our desire to transform into our best selves, my friend. Keep digging, my friend. Keep desiring better, my friend. Keep being willing to make the adjustments, to modify, to get to that next level, my friend. Continue to get uncomfortable in order to get comfortable, my friend. In fact, get comfortable with being uncomfortable, my friend. And never forget, you were born to be great.